Good morning, everyone. Um, so, I've been looking at some verses, hard to explain verses, that would um, almost uh, make you think you have to work for salvation or that um, if you're not doing what everything that God tells you to do, you could lose your salvation. But um, in some of the uh, verses in the Word of God that I've seen, and uh, the ones I think they say that's the hardest ones, you know, like the, the King James Version of this, I never knew you, because, you know, you said you did all these wonderful works, and he says, I never knew you. They say that's one of the hardest ones. I beg to differ. <laughs> I do. That one's very easy to actually explain. You know, I've looked through that one, and that's been well explained. To me, and um, I'm thinking a lot of agree with me on this, the hardest one is the talents. Yep. That's the mother, man. That's the mother load right there, baby. That's the one. And um, also the fruit bearing thing, you know, uh, in Matthew. I believe it's in John, actually. But um, when I'm looking at the scripture of the talents, you know, we've all have talents and we've all got something we can do very well. I don't know if that's everything it's talking about, you know. We're given talents, you know, have you ever seen somebody, you're gifted, man, you're so gifted, you know, so could the talents be that it's a gift? All things are a gift of God, if you think about it. But talents is one of those things, you're gifted with a talent, right? But we all at least have one, one gift, and um, I think one of the greatest gifts that we have is our freedom to choose um, what we want to do, whether we believe or not. So, um, when I'm looking at the talents, it's very obviously he ain't a Christian. Okay. This guy is not a born again Christian at all. Um, even the talent he had, I mean, it looks like it's, he's got a gift he can receive, you know, he's got the gift to believe but he chooses not to invest in the gospel. That's what I'm seeing. And uh, he sees God as a harsh God. Um, and he was afraid, afraid of God. That could be like a lordship salvationist type person, man. You know, they were real close, but they were afraid, so they hid it. They were afraid to uh, actually believe the true gospel and invest in the gospel to be fruitful. So it kind of... I think it kind of, um, it don't matter what I think, but the way I'm seeing it harmonizes with, um, let me see. Um, don't want to make this long. Okay. John 15. I am the true vine, and my father is the husband. And it goes down further. If any man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered men together and cast them into the fire and they are burned. I'm reading out of the King James Bible. What I'm getting here, when I'm just reading it, you know, by the through the eyes of grace, the eyes of grace, it, it's, he don't bite in him. He's not saved right off the bat. You know, he's not saved at all. But also like John Ritchie's uh, uh, take on this thing, where it's like a field, and I've seen this myself. I live in the country. They burn this field. And um, this might be the true interpretation of this, actually. The field is burned. That way it will produce fruit. It could be that that, that, that man is burned so much, he's, you know, there's nothing else going to do unless it's just everything's just annihilated and he can uh, bear fruit, you know, again, or start to bear fruit. If he is saved, that's another take on it. But at, at the, at another angle I am getting is that um, he don't abide in Christ. He's not in him. That's what I see. And the same thing harmonizes when I'm looking at the talents. 
I mean, this is my take on it. I'm learning as I go. But uh, obviously, he's not saved. You know, he didn't take and invest in the gospel as um, the grace of God. And he just was afraid of God and couldn't accept it, so he's afraid. And so he just, he hid. He was scared. He hid from the true gospel. What's the other one? Sorry. Hope the same. I don't want to bore you guys. <laughs> And it, it kind of goes also, I think, hand in hand with uh, Matthew seven twenty one through twenty three. It's like they're working, they're working, they're working, they're working, but they're doing it out of the wrong motivation. Um, salvation out of fear. And they're also afraid too. You, if you if, if I think, but you look at it, they're obviously afraid. They're doing all these works and things, thinking that's going to save them. So they're afraid, and they're really hiding what's inside them, the gift. But um, I don't know. Gift can be the will uh, to choose your freedom. Obviously, his, uh, this guy, the talent, is taken away. His freedom is taken. The very gift that um, to invest in the gospel is taken away. And, um, and he says, it says he's casting out of darkness. And obviously... That's hell. I mean, there's no getting around that. So it's just a thought and take I, I'm getting to harmonize some of these things. I've, I've read them and, oh, man, you know, I'm being lazy or something. And, you know, does that fit with grace is all I'm saying. Does that fit with, the, with what Paul says, saved alone, faith alone and Christ alone? By grace you are saved through faith, that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. How does that harmonize? It's got to. It's got to come together. So there's a lot to learn, and I just want to throw that by you guys. I'd love to hear your comments on your take on it. I'm not being dogmatic on it, but I'm like the thing. Oh, sorry. Uh, the thing on the fruit thing uh, is when I'm getting uh, – they don't abide in Christ because they're not in him in the first place. So, um, I don't know. So, uh, I'd love to hear some comments and see what your take is on it. I'm learning. And I want to thank my pastor, John Ritchie. He's, uh, he, I'd look at him as my big brother. And I uh, appreciate any guys', uh, any guys uh, feedback on this. And just want to thank my pastor helping me a lot through a lot of these things and anyway god bless you you guys have a wonderful weekend i don't want to browbeat you and <laughs> waste too much more of your time enjoy your weekend go have a good time with your family but these things have been rolling over in my mind and just uh seeking the word of god and use the king james version by all means <laughs> all right god bless you guys and have a wonderful weekend Thank you, Brother Bill and uh, Brother Wayne. I appreciate you guys, too. And hang in there and hold, to, hold fast to the freedom that we've been set free. Christ to him crucified. Thank you, guys.